So. Yeah, we need to start it's over. It's actually mint, we do. Yeah, because I wasn't talking about that. Oh. That's what the standout is. Oh. Yours is a straight game boost. Well, we can still keep going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So pick on where you left off about that one. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, what Andrew and I are going to be doing is a shootout on overdrive pedals. Um, we've got six pedals. Um, three are pretty much almost the same, just different makers. One's the Holy Grail. Um, yeah, it's his. You know, whatever. <laughs> um, we're also going to do a uh, the Aris Effects are a newer company. Um, they're Brutal Drive. It's supposed to be more set up for playing death metal stuff like that so the uh we've got one that's a straight mid boost it's a little bit different in how it does the overdrive um it's it's more of frequency set uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna do each one we're gonna do the pedal through our rigs and then um we're ready to go what you want to do first dealer's choice you go ahead <laughs> um i've been playing with the brutal drive trying to set it up because i just got it so I guess we'll do that one first. Um, I've got the settings. Uh, it's got a little one extra setting. It's a little bit different than the um, all the green overdrives. Uh, I've got the dirt, um, nine o'clock volume, a uh, little past noon, maybe one. Um, it's also got a bite, which is pretty much presence mm -hmm. treble. I've got it about one two o'clock, and it's also got a tight which on this is more of a uh, like the straight tightening the bass frequencies kind of like what the uh, all the green overdrive pedals do but it's a little bit more of a an overall whole deal kind of package um, and that's at about noon this is going to be a lengthy video it's not going to be this is going to be a lengthy video we're going to do some talking so and debating and uh, we're also each using our noise gates because we play these things with tons of gain and just like to turn them up. So I'm using an ISP decimator and he's using a Boss NS2. So here we go. All right, that's with the Brutal on. And this is with the Brutal off. It does add a lot of squeal. Yeah, it definitely. Obviously, it's adding gain. I mean, there's no question about that. And I hear a lot of treble coming with that also. Yeah, you can kill off the bite. We tried a little bit earlier killing off the bite. And when you get under noon, it kind of, it's kind of like adding a blanket. We'll take the bite off. Because there is a bite adjustment on here. And I'm sure it's some form of like attack or treble. So. Okay, yeah, so it definitely adds some more attack, I'm hearing. Yeah. And uh, the other, um, I guess, tone controls are dirt, obviously volume, and tight. So, tight. I think we're going to go and max the tight out. Oh, yeah. Because that's tight. Okay, so, and we'll do the dirt control. I'm sure it's just gonna make it really dirty. That's all the way back. 
All right, so that was through the EVH5153. And now we're gonna run in through the uh, PVXX. Same pedal. I'm just gonna plug into it and I'm gonna edit it. <laughs> so you'll never know I did it. Okay, so this is the PVXX with the brutal drive not engaged. And the brutal drive is engaged now. And it sounds good. Yeah. And I decided I wasn't going to use a noise gate. <laughs> yeah, that sounds. Sounds good. That did not sound good. <laughs> so that's with it engaged. Not engaged. And I guess I'll go up on the bite with it as well. The bite. Whoa. Pretty awesome pedal. Try it with some tightness. Let's add some tight with that bite. Let's now, what, let's see what you sound like now. Now we've got the tight, really tight. <laughs> tight it is really tight no question about that uh i really like the Ares, the brutal drive they also make one that's called a savage drive more if you play like thrash or you know something like along those lines a little heavier stuff uh, too much for some nickel back though um and they also make one called a it's like a mid boost it's called a boost willis with <laughs> a painted on picture of bruce willis on the front so that's probably worth it just for Bruce Willis. So uh, that that was the brutal drive. I really like it. It'll probably stay on my pedal board. Um, and we're moving on to another pedal. Another pedal time. All right, now we're doing the uh, MXR Classic Overdrive, and the this pedal is actually two pedals in one. It's uh, it used to have an internal switch. And the second option wound up being what's the Zach Wild Overdrive signature pedal. Um, the guy I bought this one from on eBay had actually took the switch and put it on top with a little toggle on it. So you can just flip back and forth whichever one. So um, we're in the left position now. And this is the MXR on. Here it goes. <laughs> That's with the classic overdrive on, and now it's off. And uh, now we're going to flip the switch. To the right side. And the tone controls are like, I think, the standard. I mean, the gain is like kind of... You know, it's on, but it's not really on, on. And uh, tone's at 12 o'clock, and output is maxed out. So now. Let's check this sucker out. 
This is, uh, I think this is the, um, I don't know what setting this is, but the switch is clicked to the right. So it could be the Zach Wild or the standard. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so, and now this is with it uh, off again so you can compare. Let me, let, let, actually, let's, let's hear, play like a quick thing with it to the right. Now we're going to flip the switch. So I really didn't hear much of a difference. There is a difference. Um, I didn't really hear it, but to lift to lift is a little bit tighter, kind of. Well, it's it's got some sag in it. Yeah, it's um, brighter. There's a little bit more presence to so it. So I would guess that's a Zach Wild setting. Now I'm gonna plug into the pedal, and we'll go from there. Okay. Now that I've plugged it in, this is the MXR Classic Overdrive. This is the PFP whatever I'm trying to say, PV Triple X. And uh, this is with the uh, overdrive off. And this is with the overdrive on and the flip, the, the switch. Which is on the left. Left. And I can tell right away that it's got a a lot more gain. And just to keep it simple, I'm going to switch to flip the switch to the right. Flip the switch to the right. Oh. That's got That actually sounds pretty good. Personally, I like the switch to the right better. It sounds a little bit more. Yeah, it sounds like it's got a little bit more open, a little bit more openness to it. Okay, so that was the um, MXR Classic Overdrive. Simple pedal. It actually sounds great. Yeah, and you that, usually can't go wrong with anything that's a green overdrive pedal. Yeah. Just for there, your bass sound. There are some turds, but for the most part, they sound great. This is the Mini Tube Screamer, the Ibanez version, and there's really no point in talking about the tone controls because, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Word. It sounds so good. It does. It there's a reason. Good. That the the Ibanez slash Maxon are the basic standards. Sounds good. Yeah. Crazy good. Here's with it off. That's so much. Here, here's with it on. Yeah, it adds so much. I mean, I could crank the gain here and get it uh, a bit more, but just adding one of those, it's just so thick. It's like, just so. It's, I mean, it is what it is. And it's a beast. 
All right, so here is the Ibanez Mini Tube Screamer through the, not through it, it's off right now. So here's just a dry signal. <laughs> I really want you to hear the amp, like... It is engaged now. I mean, it's... Sounds awful. Yeah, there's there's a reason they're the standard bearers. And uh, one thing with this shootout too we wanted to show is with the settings the same, the tube screw and the Maxon 808, how close they are. There will be a little bit of variation, but just how how they just any any time they make any amp sound good. I'm an S2 screamer. Buy one or three. Now we are going through the Maxon OD808 overdrive, and this is personally my favorite pedal. I mean, as far as overdrives go. So this is with it off and the. <laughs> Now with it on. This is with it on. So as you can tell, it really tightens everything up. It it it's a punchy pedal. Hit the just kind of just one note on the E string, just like open. That actually sounded good off too. That amp is awesome. So that's uh, the Maxon overdrive through the page one, page three. And right. All right. Here's Andrew with his triple uh, X with uh, Maxon off. Off. <laughs> All right, so this is with the max on on. It's gonna sound awesome. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if this amp just really brings it out, but you can really hear the thump. So yeah, I kind of want to hear some more of it. Green is the... So at this point, even though the Brutal Drive is great, and my money is on either the Ibanez or the Maxon, and this Classic Overdrive was good, so... 
Yeah, it's it's the Ibanez and the Maxon have just a little bit more of a, a maybe not quite a bite, but a little bit more openness to them. There's a little bit more presence, a little bit more spectrum to it. Yeah. I mean, All right. cannot go wrong. All right, now um, we've gone through the overdrives that are just straight overdrives. Um, now we're going to try out the VFE standout, which is an actually a mid over a mid boost. It's another type of overdrive, but it basically set to just boost certain frequencies instead of the whole of the amp. Um, and this one actually has uh, frequency shelving, so you can even tune it even more than a lot of them. Because a lot of those straight boosts are just one knob that's volume, and you turn it on, and that's all you get. And so we're going to give this one a shot. So this is the VFE standout. I do not know much about it, so. Yeah, I was looking for overdrives and I came across these. It was a little different. You know, something you want to try. This is it with, um, without it on. All right, here it is with it on. I was determined to make up for the squeal I missed earlier. <laughs> but um, the, as you can tell, it's not as much a uh, sound, I guess, um, put it in your face type as the uh, Maxon or the Ibanez. A little bit more subtle. You kind of keep a little bit more of the original tone with it, and it's just more of a blended into that instead of pushing that. So I like it. I like what it does. Um, the only thing that I found with owning it is it does not get along with some other pedals as well as stuff like the, the Maxon, the Ibanez get along with everything. The, no matter what you're using in loop or whatever, they, it just, they don't care. Um, the standout with my fuzz and some stuff, it, it really just didn't, they didn't like to play well. I don't know if it's because of what it boosts or not, but, uh, is it BFE? BFE. This is BFE standout through triple X. Actually, this is not, this is just a regular tone. <laughs> This is with it on and I can hear it. I don't have a noise gate on, but I can still, I see, oh, yeah. Um, I can hear the original tone of the amp. It's definitely boosting something. Mids, probably. Oh my God. I really like this pedal. This VFE standout sounds Amazing. It's up there with the Maxon and the Tube Screamer with me. This pedal is good. Yeah, I really like the VFE. That thing is awesome. VFE is kick and tail right now. I don't know. I'm surprised. Yeah. I still like the Maxon. 808, but listen. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. 
Okay. Blown away. I mean, there you yeah. go. And I think that's going to conclude our video. So, uh, tell us which one you liked the best, which one you thought sucked, the bus sucked, which one of our uh, amps sucked, our guitar sucked. <laughs> Woo! And uh, yes. that concludes it. Hey, my guy. Play us out. Subscribe. Subscribe. And follow and like and share. In touch. Have a good day. Adios. Yeah.